now, here's meteorologist Michelle Muscatello with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, our morning commute featured a little bit of uh, iciness in spots. We are not going to get quite as cold tonight, so it won't be as much of an issue, but certainly uh, looking outside, it's looking a lot more like autumn than yesterday as we woke up to uh, all of that snow, especially in our northwest corner of the state. But with temperatures 40s and 50s, it just doesn't last long. 48 right now in Smithfield, 50 in Providence. We're at 50 Newport. New Bedford's hit 50 degrees now, and so has Taunton. We're at about 45 still up in Worcester. Radar's nice and quiet today, a storm-free day on the way, and in fact, pretty quiet for the week ahead. Uh, again, temperatures in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees as we Take a look at the bigger picture here on satellite and radar. There's not much going on across the northeast. We do have some high clouds streaming in. They're not very effective in blocking out the sunshine. It's still going to be a mostly sunny afternoon and evening. But these clouds will overspread our area. And you can see some precipitation, some rain, and just plain old rain over Ohio. Well, that is going to transfer its energy off the coastline. We're going to see a storm spin up out over the ocean. Now, this time, the storm stays out to sea. It doesn't bother us with any rain or snow, but what we do get tomorrow as it makes its closest pass is some extra clouds around. This afternoon, skies look something like this. Temperatures continue their slow climb to the low 50s for highs. 5 o'clock this evening, we're back down to about 47 degrees. And then heading home for the commute, cool, dry, 45 to 50 for those temperatures. Here's Futurecast, and we'll start it off 2 o'clock this afternoon, continuing to show, again, just dry skies. Notice later on this evening, and this is as the kids are out trick-or-treating, uh, it's problem-free, just chilly this year. The thicker clouds arrive overnight, and they'll be with us over the course of the day on Tuesday. It'll be a partly to mostly cloudy day, and you can see how close some of these rain showers come from that offshore storm system. Perhaps a sprinkle along the islands, but I don't think anything will make it over uh, Rhode Island. Even our coastline should stay dry for tomorrow. For today, 53 in Newport, 52 in Coventry, Hope Valley around 52, cool, dry, and mostly sunny, while northern Rhode Island, the highs today, about 50 in Burrowville, 50 Cumberland, about 50 as you head up towards Johnston, just cool sunshine and dry skies. And it's a good looking afternoon, just you know, running unseasonably cool. The average high is 59. We're not going to come close to that today. In Seekonk, only 52. Middletown 53 and Little Compton at about 53 degrees. Some more details for your trick-or-treating this evening. Maybe the little ones getting out at about 5, 530. Temperatures at 47 degrees. Uh, 9 o'clock in the evening, we're already down to 40. So it cools off quickly. And then the late night lows tonight, as those clouds move in, it kind of puts the brakes on the cool down. So instead of waking up in the 20s like we did this morning, uh, we're in the 30s. In fact, upper 30s in Providence, mid 30s in Smithfield, about 32 in New Bedford and 38 degrees in Westerly. Your seven day future cast for you showing the dry conditions through the end of the work week and the weekend. This Saturday night, we mark the end of daylight saving time by setting our clocks back one hour. It's going to overall be an average or just slightly cooler than average week ahead, but certainly going to be feeling more like the season with late night lows in the 30s and 40s and those highs in the mid and upper 50s. And so far, we're going to be storm free. The only other day that I'm watching other than tomorrow for a storm system would be the Friday time frame. But at this moment, we're going to continue to keep it dry. You can get